Welcome to Daily IELTS English, a short video where I'll show you the techniques that I like to teach my class to prepare for the IELTS speaking test. First, I'll go through the technique and then I'll demonstrate with my own answer. Today, we have an advanced technique. This is rejecting the question. So I don't always recommend that people do this, but sometimes you get a question and it just doesn't feel right to you. You don't agree with the assumption that the question has made. So this is really going to be helpful in part three. Uh, let's take a look at the question. Now today we're looking at an identification question. This is a question that asks you for multiple possible answers. In what ways has television advertising changed in the last 10 years? So if you agree with this, you might have seen some of my other videos and you say, there are a few ways. One is, another is. I'm going to reject this question. I'm going to say, I don't think it's changed. You could also say, they haven't changed at all. Or, I don't think they have. In all of them, I stress the negative word. I don't. I, they haven't. And remember, that's really important, stressing that negative word. Stress in your English is so important. It's actually more important than the th, z, and f sounds that people make. So really think about that. Stressing negative words, especially if you're going to reject a question's premise like this one. So here's my answer. I don't think they've changed at all. They still do the same thing they were doing 20 years ago. They show you some ideal person or some ideal situation, and then they show you the product that they want you to buy. To be honest, I only really see advertisements online, so I'm assuming that they're the same as the ones that are on television, which I don't see as much. So if they're the same, then nothing's changed. It's annoying because I always see the same products that I don't consume, fast food, or, or new cars, or these gambling websites. Uh, it's kind of annoying. In fact, I wish they would advertise with things that I did uh, consume and that I did want to buy. I actually wouldn't mind. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, advanced technique. If they ask you a question and you really just don't think that it has the correct assumption, how has advertising changed? I don't think it's changed then that's how you can answer it. Keep in mind, I am not an expert in marketing, not an expert in advertising. So uh, please, uh, if you are, I would love to know your thoughts down here in the comments. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. Uh, please remember, language is a habit. It is not a skill. So you want to be practicing. Practice until you get it right, then keep going till you can't get it wrong, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.